Hi guys, Danny here and welcome to another Tips for Toggers. And today I'm going to take just a little step back as we're starting to really ramp up our photography game and you're starting to take really great photos. I want to have a look at how you actually store and back up those photos because protecting all of that work, but most importantly, protecting those memories is abs abs absolutely crucial because you will never get them back. So here's a quick overview of how to be absolutely 100% safe and sure that your photos remain protected. So when you talk about protecting your photos, there are three types of protection that you actually need in place. First of all, you have your local protection. So this is the actual photo itself. You've got it on a computer, it's saved. It's not just sat on a memory card somewhere. It's actually saved on a hard drive on a computer. You've got it there. It's solid there. The next one is on-site backup. And what that means is another copy of that photo. So you've got it saved on the hard drive, now you need an on-site backup of that uh, photo as well. That means a second hard drive, potentially an external hard drive, wherever you put it, you should have an on-site backup of that photo as well, just so you know that it is safe and in case the hard drive of the first one fails, you know you've got a backup on the second hard drive. And then lastly, you have an off-site back up as well. So that's in the cloud, that's somewhere else. It doesn't have to, doesn't necessarily have to be in the cloud. What it could be is another external hard drive somewhere that isn't in the same location as the first one. Why do we do that? Well, sadly, your house could burn down. You could be burgled. Anything could happen. Or even worse, you could have two simultaneous hard disk failures. I've had them I've seen plenty of people who have had them. It really, really does happen. Don't ever think that just because you've got a single backup of your photos, you're therefore covered, right? It is entirely possible that those two hard drives could crash simultaneously and be unrecoverable. For example, if you had a lightning strike in your house and it fried all of your computer and circuitry, you could lose both of those versions of your backup. So you should have an off-site storage solution, whether that be in the cloud, or another external hard drive at someone else's house or somewhere else secure. Make sure you have actually got all three of these covered. Now, some people might say, well, how about I just have the local, so I have it on my hard drive, and then I have an off-site solution and I, I don't worry about the on-site. Yes, in theory you could, but remember, off-site, if it's in the cloud, that's not owned by you. If that company goes under or something happens, in theory, you could lose all of that. So ideally, you should have a local copy and a cloud copy. Now there are loads of providers that do off-site storage. The number one that often comes to mind for people is, oh, I'll use Apple, I'll buy a load of space on their cloud. Please don't, because it's really, really, really expensive. Really expensive. Actually, it costs very, very little to back up even big, big amounts of photos. For example, Google, they do loads of space for not a lot of money back up to Google. Microsoft OneDrive, again, loads of space, not a lot of money. It's probably an annual fee. It's not a lot. They're going to give you a ton of space that's going to cover most people for most reasons all the time. What you could also consider slightly cheaper. I really like them and I use them. They're called Crash Plan. They have a little piece of software that syncs to their cloud constantly. I know as soon as I come back from a job, I'll upload those files and as soon as they're uploaded onto my local machine they're going out into the cloud and they're being backed up and synced all the time and you can use them for both things on external hard drives and software and documents and any other information you might have on your hard drive as well. Excellent solutions, make sure you have one of them in place, please don't let your precious precious memories and work ever be lost um, in some kind of accident as well, we really really don't want that. So those are the three types of protecting your memories tomorrow or even today, go ahead and do it, make sure it's in place and be safe in the knowledge that you are protected. That's it from me. Don't forget to like my page if you haven't already, comment and share this below as well. Make sure you do. I really want you guys to push it out there because I really want to reach as many people as possible and stay tuned. If you've got any questions, you want me to cover anything, leave it in the comments too. If not, I shall see you all again tomorrow as ever for another Tips for Toggers.